I never saw myself being one of the fastest women, but that doesn't mean I didn't believe that I could be. She believes she could, and now she is. Gabby Thomas may not be the fastest sprinter, but she is one of the fastest. She, among others, is steadily making her way to the top of the sport while making a difference when she can. We wanted to learn about what we wanted to see in track meets, uh, what we wanted to see happen, and what we could do better in the sport. And that's really what this is about. And so being a part of that was such an honor, and I'm so thrilled. After an extremely successful Paris 2024 Olympic run, Gabby Thomas is not done making history. With three Olympic golds, Gabby is among the three U.S. athletes with the most gold medals from Paris. She shared the honor with swimmer Tori Huske and gymnastics goat Simone Biles. On that note, it did not come as a surprise when Gabby's face was splashed almost everywhere after the games. In fact, in a video she shared online, the American sprinter was seen juggling multiple media interviews, including Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen and CBS Morning Show. The post was captioned, Life After Winning Gold at the Olympics, which, as you can imagine, is pretty hectic. No sleep, bus, club, another club, another club, plane. That's not all of it. She made time to prepare for her dream track and field project, Athlos, the brainchild of Alexis Ohanian. In an Instagram story, she put up a screenshot of her conversation with fellow Harvard student and friend Karina Joyner, raving about the upcoming meet. This is going to literally be the track event of the year, she wrote. Today, more and more individuals are attempting to make track and field more popular, with the masses more than once every four years, as opposed to the Olympics. Sprint legend Michael Johnson is launching Grand Slam track in 2025, a four-meet series backed by a hefty investment by Winners Alliance, the for-profit arm of the Professional Tennis Players Association. Meanwhile, Barry Kahn, a former Cornell distance runner, plans to hold the first dual track meet, a March Madness-style head-to-head event, in March 2025. Originally planned to debut this month, the inaugural dual 100 meters will now take place in March 2025 at a U.S. location yet to be named. Duel, pronounced Duel, a new well-funded running venture, plans single elimination tournaments in which two runners go head-to-head -head in each race, starting with the 100 meters and one mile. Eight men and eight women will compete in one-on-one -on -one races, bracket style. While Johnson's Grand Slam track and Khan's Duel track track won't take off until next year, Alexis Ohanian's Athlos will debut before the others. This week, some of the fastest women in the world will meet for a track and field showdown unlike any other. Under the lights in New York City, the first ever Athlos NYC will bring together the star power of Olympic champions and world record holders in a women's only competition aimed to modernize the sport and recognize the athletes. Then, there's a major must-see on the music front. The Athlos meet will take place at Icon Stadium in New York City. Located on Randall's Island, the stadium offers seating for 5,000 and also hosts home games for the New York City Football Club. News of the inaugural event broke in the spring when Alexis Ohanian shared that his venture capital firm, 776, invested in women's track with the 776 Invitational. He told ESPN in April that he started following trends in professional track and field last year and saw a need to address the lack of media coverage and broadcast opportunities outside of the Olympic cycle. Every four years during the Olympics, this is a really popular sport. And then all the coverage and everything seems to go away, Ohanian told ESPN. And so, Athlos is aimed at elevating women's sports and inspiring the next generation of female athletes. It is no secret that Ohanian has been involved in women's sports for a while now, most recently as one of the founding investors of Angel City FC, a women's soccer club in the NWSL. While remaining the club's largest shareholder, Ohanian also invested in the Sports Bra, a women's sports bar based in Portland, Oregon. Since 2017, Ohanian has been married to one of the greatest athletes in sports history and one of the biggest advocates for the progression of women's sports, Serena Williams, 
the 23-time Grand Slam champion. Anyway, Athlos NYC, originally announced as the 776 Invitational, will see 36 athletes compete across six different races, 100-meter hurdles, 100-meter, 200-meter, 400-meter, 800-meter, and 1,500-meter. Athlos NYC is also offering the largest prize purse ever for a women's track event. Winners will take home $60,000, while runner-ups and third-place finishers will win $25,000 and $10,000 respectively. Fourth, fifth, and sixth place won't leave empty-handed either, earning $8,000, $5,000, and $2,500 respectively. That's not all. Athlos NYC is also redistributing 10% of the event's revenue to all of its athletes. Many of the world's top women's track athletes are set to compete for record prizes when the inaugural Athlos NYC gets underway. 36 women with 30 Olympic medals between them, including several Paris 2024 Olympic champions, will close out the 2024 season with Athlos NYC. $60,000 and a Tiffany & Company crown are on the line for each of the winners. That's double the prize money for the Diamond League champions. After the meet itself comes to a close, three-time Grammy winner Megan Thee Stallion will bring the night to a close with a performance for athletes and fans. DJ D Nice is expected to make an appearance as well. Of course, Gabby Thomas's presence at the event is a huge draw as well. In an interview ahead of the event, the 200-meter Olympic champion shared why competing at Athlos is so important to her. I mean, this is bigger than myself and it's bigger than this race. Um, it's bigger than just the six of us lining up, right? It's really about what we're doing for But that's not all. What this event in particular means for women's sport and for track. Thomas will be the headline act in the 200-meter race that has Australian Tori Lewis and Americans Jenna Prandini, Tamara Clark, Brittany Brown, as well as Anavia Battle, and as she looks forward to the inaugural event, she is grateful that women have something of their own. Boss on us how big of an event this is, um, just for track and culturally, and so I think we're excited to go out there and compete for that reason. Okay. And we just we love running. Um, every, every we love running, and every lady who is here just wants to line up in the 200 meter race and all the other races, and just love competing. And we are going to share that with the world and hopefully push the sport as wide as we can," she added. Gabby also noted what makes Ohanian's grand plan unique. Athlos definitely feels like an event where we, as female athletes, have some ownership. We have some say. Yeah, I mean, that's not something you see in sports every day, right? Those, you know, people who are pulling the strings, actually including athletes in the decision-making. And we've been included in this decision-making for every step of the way. Thomas also described how female track and field stars can benefit from the event and how their voices in the sport can be amplified multifold at the event. Surprisingly, the Olympian only had good words for Alexis. He really he doubled the prize money of the Diamond League, and that's that's fantastic because he saw what we deserved, and he doesn't want to stop there. Um, we don't want to stop there, and so this is definitely a very unique experience. For and she wasn't just happy about the money. He just sits down and listens, right? He didn't know a thing about track, and now he's using track lingo when he's talking about you know our, our <laughs> sport in the races, which I really appreciate. Even before the 27-year-old steps onto the track, she's already received high praise from track and field legends. In the recent episode of the Ready, Set, Go podcast, Justin Gatlin and Rodney Green discussed which athlete deserves the clutch and MVP award as the season comes to an end. While talking about everything that's happened so far, it did not come as a surprise when Gabby's name came up. Gabby stepped to the plate, and you can watch Gabby set her campaign up for the season, and like clockwork, you know? The former sprinter said, Although Gabby traveled to New York to compete in the Athlos NYC all-women's historic track event, she made time to take in the sights of the city. In fact, Thomas was at the WNBA playoff showdown between the New York Liberty and Atlanta Dream at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. After the game, Gabby linked up with fellow Olympic champion Sabrina Ionescu for an epic courtside meeting and photo op. Gabby shared the picture, along with several others, on Instagram with the caption, shout out to the Liberty for putting on a show tonight, loving the energy of the Doe NBA. Watch this to see what other athletes are up to.